Hi, this is problem 5 from the 2018 AIM-1. For each ordered pair of real numbers x, y satisfying this first equation, there is a real number k such that this second equation is also satisfied. Find the product of all possible values of k. Okay, using the change of base rule for logarithms, we can uh, change the log to the base 4 to match the log to the base 2 of the left side. So we can write this as log to the base 2 divided by log to the base 2 of 4, which we know is equal to 2. We can bring this 2 over to the left side of the equation and bring it inside the log to create a square of 2x plus y, from which we then find that equating the argument of the logarithms to be the same, expand this out, Collect like terms. Uh, I think we have to divide by 3 to find that x squared plus xy is equal to 2y squared. Now it turns out if you gather these terms, you can actually factor that. Uh, I didn't see that when I first did this problem, so I had to do it the uh, more routine way of trying to complete the square. So if we look at uh, this left side as a polynomial in terms of x, we can view the variable y is the coefficient of x. Take this coefficient, divide it by 2, square it, add it to both sides. This sums out to 9 over 4 y squared. We can then write this as a square. We have an equation of two squares, and there's two ways that we can satisfy this. Either x plus y over 2 has to equal 3 halves y, in which case we know that x is equal to y, or this can equal the negative of this, in which case we have that x is equal to minus 2y. So those are the only two possibilities. And now we can take these two equations and try to substitute this into this a second equation to try to solve for the values of k. Now we have this as a log equation. We can basically do the same trick we did before to convert log to the base 9 into log to the base 3. Uh, that creates a 2 on the denominator that we can bring over to the left side, which then brings a square on the inside of the log. And when we're finished doing that, we should have that 3x plus y squared is equal to this right side then. We can expand this a bit. Simplify and reduce this to 6x squared, 2xy, ky squared. Okay, that's the form that's going to be most useful. Let's plug in x is equal to y. We find then that this left side is 9y squared, k9 squared, which then means that k has to equal 9. And using x equals minus 2y, this reduces to... 24y squared minus 4y squared will decay y squared. So that is that k would have to equal 21. And k is equal to 9, k is equal to 21. Those are the only two possibilities. So 9 times 21 equals 189. Now in the end, you have to make sure that the solutions you're finding do not cause the arguments of the logarithms to go negative. 
Now, you only need to find out that there are some cases in X and Y that would yield positive numbers for both arguments, and that's in fact true. So there's nothing that we did in the algebra here that violates the condition that the arguments of the logarithms have to be positive for some solutions in X and Y. So that's one last check you need to do to validate that K is equal to 9, K is equal to 21 are both valid solutions for the original problem. And that's true, and so the final answer is 189.